Hi, this is Peter Stanley. Welcome to my channel. Today is June 1st, 2020, and this is my bi-weekly grow update. Well, it's been longer than two weeks, probably a little over three weeks since my last update. So anyway, uh, I got most of the plants put out. I'll show you those in just a second. I have a few on the porch, and I'll show you those setups. Okay, so I've got a 27-gallon tote set up as a cracky method, and it's going to be fed. It's got the float valve in here. I've got a video showing how I put this together. This is going to be my reservoir to keep it topped up. So I've got a Kingsta Yellow here. And this is a Reaper Tally. This is the um, Kingstar Lemon Starburst in the self watering container. This is the three-year-old plant. This is White Sage in a wicking setup. These are the two small DWC plants I had inside. This is um, King Star's uh, Zoya Cross with White Tie. And this is my cross. This is the Malagetta Cross with the King Star White Tie. So this is a 17 gallon tote set up as a wicking. So I'm using rope to do the wicking Get out of all of these. So I've got a Chocolate Bootless CS, Batman and Big Bat Red. I believe this is a Palmyra, it's a Sin Peach, and this is a Rainforest Bacotum. And here are some self watering containers. Uh, this is a Dragon's Breath. It's a Bula XPF4 from Jimmy Johnson. Ghostly Jalapeno. And this is one of the plants that I had in the DWC. It's a Kingstar Cross, Lingria Cross, or Lindsay Cross with Sangria. He calls it, uh, he, he named it uh, Lingria. This is an F2, and I've got this in the 60-gallon pickle barrel. I got a video on how I set this up last year. I've been using Master Blend instead of Dynagray this year in this barrel. So it should do really well. I have my drip system hooked up. So I've got a little Y adapter so I can run my water hose. And this is a timer, backflow preventer, filter, pressure regulator. And it goes down, and I've got it teeing off. To these rock wall plants this year and this is a pequeno white peach star kissed i got it like some on these plants in particular especially the smaller ones get a lot of bug damage i think um and there's a little bit of transplant stuff going on but if they can kind of outgrow faster than the bugs eat them they should be okay this one i miss lost the labeling so i call it mystery this is a blue christmas this one may not make it. it's a chocolate naga brain and uh, ACNY Cross of Bubblegum 7 F3 Yellow Jimmy Johnson. Another one getting attacked. This is another one, uh, Boot Solid Gold. Um, this is the one that was getting attacked and I had a backup plant. Probably just going to yank this actually, but I stuck my backup plant in here. Hopefully it'll take off. Another one eating up Primo Cross, not chocolate, Jimmy Johnson. And me, Wartrix Cross. Another from Jimmy Johnson. This is a uh, tie yellow long. It actually looks pretty good in there. This Faria does not look that good. I'd have another one in my other container that looks a lot better. This is a Peri Peri. It actually has some peppers on it. This one's pretty good. So these are the main drip plants. I got them set up. All five gallon buckets. Some of these look better than others. I think a lot of it's, um, you know, first with them out here, I got like a week straight of solid rain and then and then all the transplant stuff so i think they're going to be okay this is a sand peach ahi chochamba bahamian beast it's a bane strain peach it's actually done a lot of growing since i put it out here uh, chaos it's another rainforest this is a uh, assam the seeds from pucker butt i think it produces small red peppers not sure what strain it is. I mean, what species? It's an old school boot. Jimmy Johnson. It's Batman Big Bat Red. It's an Ahi Chombo. Looking forward to this. This is uh, seeds from Hugo Vera. This is uh, Sweet Shito. This is my cross. Um, Shishito crossed with Stavros. It's got some. Peppers on there. And my drip system just came on. It's on timer. Can I see? See that? This is an ancient sweet. Drama Queen. Jimmy Johnson. This is a Feria. 
Uh, you saw the other one on the on the rock wall. This one looks a lot better. Some seven pot mad balls. Uh, chocolate bootla CS. LLTS boot fino. It's not looking the greatest. But I think these um, usually it takes a two or three weeks to kind of recover and get used to the new setup. So I think they're going to be fine. But it's a Fonda Majot cross. This is a Reaper Tally in a 17 gallon container. And this is a Chocolate Ghost Jammy in a 17 gallon container. It's a boot solid gold crossed with pink tiger crossed with peach boot. California Reaper. Hurtberry. Star Racha Hornet. It's my one daddle plant for this year. Palmyra, and I've got some fruits on it already. Hoping this didn't get crossed because I know they're conical shape. It's a little bit longer than it did last year. I think they're just because they're new. I think it's probably fine. It's a mango big hab. Kangsta yellow. It's another uh, Thai yellow long. And another peri peri. So the gochu, I grow one of these every year. It's a Korean pepper. This one's looking kind of messed up. This is a Navon. King Star Lemon Starburst. Chupatino Peach. This is a Weary Weary. Ahi Criola. Or Criolia. Trinidad X-Strain variant. I labeled as possible mislabel because I think the, the vegetation looks a lot like that uh, three-way solid gold cross. And I'm not sure if I mislabeled it, but I'll, I can I'll be able to tell when it produces fruit. But the leaves are all kind of darkish on this. Uh, my other, I, I grew a Trinidad Hornet a few years back and it didn't look like this, but we'll see. And this is another Jimmy Johnson uh, Ahi uh, Yuyo. It's not looking the best, but again, I think these will be okay. So that's my update. I'll try to be more consistent. Get another one up in a couple of weeks and see how these are doing. So a lot going on. Normally I would have done this update about a week ago. But uh, anyway, thank you very much for watching. If you like that, please like, comment, and subscribe.